Hi there. Uh, I am taking data from Mount Erebus, a volcano in Antarctica. I look, I'm looking at eruptions in the frequency domain, and I'm comparing them. We have different stations, and I'm comparing one station to another to see what the time difference is from the time of the eruption to when it arrives at the station. And from that, I can pinpoint where in the crater the eruption took place. Oh, that's quite colorful. What, what are those graphs? Well, these are uh, what are known as spectrograms. And what you're seeing is a, uh, essentially the frequency of an eruption. So the darker the color, the stronger the frequency. And what you can then do is you can plot it on a time axis like this, and you can see um, where there are characteristic events. And then what I'm doing is looking at each one of those events from all of my different stations and comparing them to one another. This is, a, this is another um, spectrogram, and basically what I'm doing is I'm rotating it in uh, 3D space. So the, uh, as you move along in the data trace from uh, basically 0 to 24 hours, you can see uh, different peaks and valleys where the, uh, the spectrum or the frequency becomes uh, higher, more intense. And then I can rotate that around and see what's going on. So then these are you know, major valleys that uh, are essentially negative data look over here and see all the, uh, I mean, what I'm interested in is up here and the positive data stuff.